Um, so we now move on to the final session of the symposium. And this is a closing keynote by the Alan Turing Institute and guest speakers. Um, it's gonna first, we're going to first start, off, start with Andrew Blake, who's the director of the Alan Turing Institute. The Alan Turing Institute is a national institute for data science. It's actually headquartered at the British Library on the first floor at the moment. Its mission is to make great leaps into data science research in order to change the world for the better. Andrew's going to give a brief introduction to the Turing Institute and introduce three researchers who've been carrying out research, particularly working with the library's digital collections and data. And, and there's going to be specific reference to um, the library's web archive from two different perspectives, from a humanities perspective and a social science perspective. So I'd like to welcome Andrew Blake onto the stage, please. Well, it's great to be here. I uh, um, uh, have not been able to be here during the day, but I've heard various snippets, some uh, work their way ac across the courtyard there, and it sounds like you've been having a fascinating time. Um, the Alan Turing Institute is really rather new. We've existed sort of on paper for a year, but it's only really um, last month that we've got into full gear and researchers have turned up, um, PhD students, research fellows, and faculty from various UK universities that are our, our members, the ones that are uh, mentioned there. So it's a very exciting time for us, and um, the British Library has been a fantastic partner for us, and we absolutely wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be anywhere without them. And because it's great to be here in the, the kind of crossroads of the world, I think it's fair to say that King's Cross, St Pancras, is uh, pretty much the crossroads of the world. It's a fantastic place to be, but also the... The library, I think, is um, a fascinating partner. And the way I, I think of it is that we, we're we developing a shared vision for the future of information and coming at it perhaps from opposite ends. So the, the library is rich in information resources and I'm sure would love to know how to mobilize even more compute to get the value out of that. And we, in the Alan Turing Institute, well, what, what we are actually is an institute for investigating algorithms for interpreting big data. So, you know, big data, we know about that. That was sort of yesterday's news. That's sort of part of life now. But getting the value out of big data, inventing algorithms that that do the analysis, that really there's an awful lot to do there. And so that's what we want to bring to the... Um, to the partnership with, with the British Library. And I guess we think of the, the relationship with the British Library on three different levels. There's a sort of a level where there are things we all want to do with the interpretation of data and with curating data. And so we want to see lots of projects happening that bring those interests together. But then at the next level, I guess there's, there's a, an aspiration to do, do one really big thing together. And I th think we don't really know what this is. The w I think of it as being a way of um, bringing the uh, smarts of data, data analytics to the fantastic um, analytics resources like the, the um, web cache that the, that, that the library keep, and to do something which will really affect the lives of a lot of people. I don't know who those people might be, but to get the kind of the cultural riches uh, unlock those cultural riches for really a large group of people, and not just um, large in numbers, but also large in influence. So I, I, this is a very uh, um, tantalizing thing for us to think about, I think, what this, what this big joint endeavor might be. And I, I hope that over the next year or so, something um, exciting and compelling will emerge. And then there's the kind of very grand uh, level of, you know, what is the future of information and what a library is going to be like in the... Um, uh, you know, in the next, in, in 20 years' time? Will we still be coming to the library and using it in the same way? Of course, a lot of information that uh, more and more people will be using information uh, online. And, you know, how is that going to change what a library is? And, uh, you know, these are, are fantastic uh, speculations, which uh, I think also it, it's important to think through. So um, I won't take very much longer, but just to say, I think there are also a few very specific concerns that we uh, that we share. Um, one big one which has come up quite a lot in discussions with 
with, uh, in, in the library and with people around the library is reproducibility. And so the reproducibility of research has become a very big issue. Um, you know, the economist writes about it now and chastises us for not being able to reproduce a lot of the science we do. And the, how will that affect the Alan Turing Institute? I, I, I think one of, the, one of the things we really have to think about is the way that we share data. So on the one hand, we may have privileged relationships with um, companies and agencies that have valuable data resources. And that, that is, you know, a huge acceleration to research, for example, in social data science. But what if we can't then share that data on with anybody else? So um, th in that case, we've got, we, we're in a bit of a spot because other people won't be able to reproduce our science. And we really do want, especially as a new institute, we want to get started the way we mean to carry on doing research that is reproducible. So I, I think this issue of, um, of, of how to share data broadly, and it's a partly a kind of social issue and partly a technical issue, um, different modes of doing that sharing. Another one that's, I think, very interesting, and I know it's been part of the subject of the, of the, of, of the day, is how to tag data automatically. And when you're dealing in this sort of quantities of data that the British Library have, of course, um, uh, making that data valuable to people depends so much on access and on tagging and that can't possibly be done by hand and so luckily machine learning and well now we have to call it artificial intelligence is coming to the rescue um, just in time and I, I, I gather you had a, an interesting session on that earlier and that's something that also the Alan Turing Institute is very interested to pursue with the library how to increase the value of data by um, um, by automatically adding metadata. And then lastly, I guess the last of, of, the, of these three particular concerns is um, this thing about how to reach out to bigger audiences, how to get um, broader spheres of influence, how to enrich culturally even more lives. And that, I think, is um, a fascinating challenge for us. Well, I'm very uh, interested now to see what the afternoons, the reigning speakers of the afternoon will We'll bring two of them are, are fellows with the Alan Turing Institute, um, but first um, Jane Winters from the School of Advanced Study at the University of London, and uh, um, I think it's going to be a very interesting session. Thanks. <laughs>